Hello there, I am Giant Girl and welcome back to more of my video games that I own series. This is time we are going to be put here we are going to be going through my GameCube collection. Yes, I have six GameCube games. I have Sunshine. Well, one I'll count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was surprised that I only have six GameCube games because I thought I had a little bit more than six, but I guess not. Okay, let's um yeah. I do like all these games. I played them all recently, so I still enjoy them today, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first game I have, I don't even have a case for, but this is Super Mario Sunshine. I keep it in this box right over here. I'll show you. Uh, I keep it in this box right here with my Wii, Wii Sports. Now, um, I'll put this to the side. But, um, this part right here is broken. So I can't even clip it to the thing. Like it won't even, won't even stay. Like if I do that, yeah, it falls right up. Yeah. So uh, I keep it behind the Wii Sports manual right here, I guess. Um, but yeah, there's that. And I should really get a better case than this, cause I can hold the two games in this case, and uh, it, you know, it's not safe cause I could scratch them, but uh. My priorities aren't straight on this one because I don't really want. I'll get a new case eventually, but um, right now I just this is what it's has to be. This is how it has to be, I guess, in my opinion. I could easily change that, but uh, I'm kind of lazy on getting a new case anyway. So yeah, there's Super Mario Sunshine for you. Um, I do like the artwork on the disc, even though it's very just as a sh it has a shine spray right here and it has the logo right here. So we did E, so that's awesome. That's for the GameCube. So yeah, that's awesome. Super Mario Sunshine. I haven't really, I haven't really, um, beat this game 100%. I've got like 13 shine sprites. I think I'm really bad at this game. I do want to eventually do it for like a project on my channel, like a let's play or something. But, uh, I have to get better at the game in order to do that because I can't get to Bowser with just 13 shine sprites. I'm pretty sure I can't. Maybe a speedrunner can do it with like less than that. I don't know. Uh, I, this is, I like, I like Super Mario 64 better than Sunshine, honestly, even though I haven't beat Sunshine all the way through, and I beat, uh, I beat, um, Super Mario 64 twice on my channel 100%, so yeah. And, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, and by the way, I think I got this game, when did, when did I get this game? I think it was like 2011, and I got it from a game store. I don't remember how much I paid for it, and I don't know what store it was, but I'm pretty sure, I know this game was like a gift to me, but I know I bought it with my own money at a game store, I just can't remember where. So that's cool. Next we have Sonic Mega Collection. Uh, it's rated E for everyone. I remember getting this at my local flea market for like, I think I paid like $15 for this game. And I recently did a um, side series on this, like it was called like Sonic Mega Collection, all the games that I have unlocked or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a fun game. It's a good, uh, it's like the only way I can play like the original, um, Sonic games 1, 2, and 3, Sonic the Hedgehog is 1, 2, 3, and so forth. In Sonic and Knuckles and whatnot, Sonic 3D Blast and all that good stuff. There's a couple more games I played in that series, that side series of mine. Um, I don't have, a, I don't have the games on the regular, in the original, uh, Sega Genesis, so this is like the next best thing, I guess. But yeah, it's a fun game. I do recommend this game. It just has a good, like, all the classic Sonic games, which is pretty fun. So, yeah, and I do like the side scores of, uh, Sonic games more than 3D games, honestly. But yeah, that's just me. Next, we have My Party 7, which we played all the boys, I believe, on Super Nintendo Guys, my club channel. We had a lot of fun. I played with, um, Gus Idept, uh, Matt Pissword, and Sam the TBOC. And we played this on our club channel, and we had a lot of fun with all the boards. Uh, all the I think all the mini games in this game is pretty fun, you know. Uh, I only I only have Mario Parties two, seven, and eight really, so I'm missing a lot of them. Considering there's like at least ten of them out by now, um, so yeah. And this game is a lot of fun. I like all the boards. I I just this is probably one of my favorite Mario Party games, honestly. If, well, out of the ones I own, this is probably my favorite. Cause, uh, we, uh, my party had a lot of motion controls for video games, or mini games, but that's okay. And then my party 2 would probably be my second one out of the one I own. So, uh, rating the three my parties I have from 
least uh, best to worst, I guess you could say, is My Party 7 being the best, in my opinion, of the ones I own. Then My Party 2, and then My Party 8. So yeah, that's just my opinion, though. Uh, I got this game, I think I paid like $12 at the, uh, again, the same local free market. Um, and yeah, I bought it at the free market, yeah, for $12 or so. It was a really good pickup, in my opinion. I do like this game a lot. Uh, it's rated E, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I'd recommend this game, and I'd, I'd be willing to play this game again soon. Here is Mario Superstar Baseball. Um, I remember buying this at a video game store, I don't remember when. Um, I think for Sonic Mega Collection and uh, Mario Party 7, I got them both in like 2000, 2010, I'd say. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, I think I may have bought this in like 2012, at a, game, at a video game store I don't remember the name of. Um, so yeah, it's a fun game, I played this with um, Matt Pestleward before, I think I had a video of it, of me and him playing it, but like I may have deleted the video or something on my channel. But yeah, it's a fun game. It's baseball, baseball is my favorite sport. So yeah, and uh, it's a fun game, I recommend it. And it's rated E for everyone if I didn't already say that. Here is Mario Kart Double Dash, my favorite Mario Kart game of all time. It's rated E. I got this game, I got my GameCube for Christmas back in Christmas of 2009. And uh, I got like two platinum controllers plus my, plus the um, indigo colored controller that comes with the GameCube for used GameCube. I think like at the time the GameCube was only like $30 used at GameStop and they are still selling them. So that's pretty cool. And then I also got this game and a memory card. No, 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 sorry, excuse me. I got this game for my Chris, for my birthday, like less than a month later, um, in 2010. I got it for a birthday present, actually. Um, so yeah, from my dad. And I, as we still play this game today on Super Nintendo Guys, you know, uh, Sandro TPC, Matt Pizzleward, Gus Idect, and, uh, me, and I, I guess you could say, um, all like it still, and we have fun playing it. It's a fun game. Again, it's my favorite Mario Kart game of all time. It's rated E for everyone if I didn't say that. I think I already said that. I think I said that twice now. So yeah, I recommend it. It's a fun game. And last we have Super Smash Bros. Melee. Or Super Smash Bros. Melee. Rated teen. Um, I think it got, like, a cool original case. Cause, like, Matt Pitzelwood's, um, case of Melee says, it says the best seller seal right here. In fact, hold on. Let's see. Like for um my for my party uh, my superstar baseball you see the best seller logo right here, so yeah, um that's what Matt says as far as uh, last time I checked at least I'm pretty sure I'm like I'm like seventy percent or you no know, like ninety percent sure that it's a best seller for his copy but for mine it says not for resale which is one of the I think one of the rarer copies of the game case for Melee. Um I got this my GameCube back in two thousand not Christmas of two thousand nine uh. And, uh, it's a fun game. I remember first playing it and booting it for the first time. I was like, wow, this is cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. Cause I was doing like adventure mode and in the one player mode and it was all fun. Uh, that was almost nine years ago. Well, nine years ago, um, this December, it will be nine years. So I, I would have my copy of this game for like nine years. Cause I pretty much got this on December 25th of 2009. So, like, at the end of December, when it comes to the 25th, I'll have this game for nine years, basically. And uh, that's pretty cool. I like NAS a lot. As you see them right here. Ice Climb is pretty cool. I do like all, like, I could use, like, all of these characters because I had to when I was, like, un I think when I was unlocking, uh, Mr. Game and Watch, I had to play as, like, everyone in classic mode or something. All, even the, uh, even the unlock characters. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. And, uh, yeah, I have uh, all the stages, all the characters. I don't think I have all the trophies. I may be missing a couple, but for the most part, I have like almost all of them. And I really like this game. Uh, Matt really likes this game. Sam doesn't really play this game that much. Except for he did, he did play this game on my birthday when we, uh, when I had my birthday party, he played this game. And the last time before that was at Thanksgiving when he played it at uh, my friend Travis's house. Because my friend Billy brought the game over, I believe. He had melee. He brought it over. So yeah, I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. Never, I don't think I'll get tired of this unless I play like non-stop for like a week straight. I mean, I, I might get a little burnt out on it, but like, I still enjoy playing this game. Versus mode or one-play mode. I've been playing one-play mode a lot uh, lately, but uh, versus mode is really fun with your friends. 
So yeah, there's, that's that. So that's been my GameCube collection. Uh, and uh, next collection, I will do. Um, I think I'll do my PS2 games next. Even though I have, like, I think I'm only like four or five games for my PS2. There's a dog buck in the background, so I guess I'll end the video right here. So yes, this is Matrenko again. I would like to give you goodbye, and hope to see you guys when I do my PS2 video game collection.